All right, so this is a Milwaukee installation driver. Um, and it comes with this attachment. Um, but I wanted to be able to use my Centrotec bits. And so I made this adapter um, and it clips in just like the other one. And then you have Centrotec, which is kind of nice. And also it's like one-handed, which is pretty cool. And um, one of these 3D printed pieces, um, it's actually printed in metal and stainless steel. And then there's two other pieces printed in plastic. Um, uh, I'll take it apart so I can show you. So um, first, let's see. I have to just take four screws out. Sorry about the 3D printer noise in the background. Oops. Didn't really clip that in, but there we go. All right, so uh, once you take this apart, so I had to sacrifice one of these to make this. Um, I essentially just bought a second one on eBay. It was about, I think $30, $25 or $30. Um, Cause I needed to use a lot of the parts of this for the new one. Um, essentially we have, this is the same piece. Um, we're keeping the spring and uh, we also have some balls some ball bearings. You don't want to lose them. There's three. Um, I'll take off the Centrotec adapter. And so this is the, these are the pieces. So um, essentially I, this is the piece that I prototyped in plastic. Uh, you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like nine here. I think I actually printed like 10 before I finally got the final design. Uh, it came out pretty well on Shapeways. I did have to do sanding around here, um, a little bit around here, and then the hard part was inside. I ended up taking a file, a, a, not this one exactly, but a flat one um, to kind of uh, flatten out these each of these sides a little bit. I really wanted a snug fit um, and so I, I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to make it smaller because then sanding it would have, because it always comes out with a sort of a rough finish with metal. Um, so I, I would prefer for it to be a really tight fit that I have to sand down a little bit to get it to slide in. And so now you can see this piece, uh, it slides on. Oh, no. That was my ball bearing that I'm gonna have to go find. And we're back, I found the bearing. <laughs> Try not to drop them on the floor. There's three of them. Um, so I tried to taper the hole ever so slightly so that it can't fall inside. It, it falls in about halfway inside um, and then it, it'll come out on the outside. So you just have to place them in each hole carefully when you slide it in. So essentially, there's three parts. There's this piece that I print in metal, and then there are, there is a washer that I print in plastic, um, and then a, a kind of a cone housing that I also print because the original one uh, didn't fit right. And then uh, the you'll see the washer essentially just you have to push it in. Uh, it's a tight fit too, but it fits if you just push it. So now that has the washer in. So that creates uh, the washer essentially is so that this piece won't push outwards. It kind of hits there. And then um, also this piece um, 
you know, it gets forced on the other side. So um, all together, it goes this, and then this holds it in, and then you put the spring on, and then you put this piece on. And then you have to press it down and hold it and press and then you put the screws in um, and then it stays together. Um, I do have to put the ball bearings back. So I guess I'll do that real quick. Let's see. Let's take it back apart. All right, so the easiest way to assemble this, you need this piece from the original this bottom piece, um, and you're gonna see that the, the, the longer piece faces upward, so you have to remember that. So this is technically the bottom and this is the top. Uh, yeah. And then we have this piece that's printed also with the washer that's pressed in, into it. So this is two, blast, two separate pieces combined already. And then we're gonna need the spring from here, the original spring and the original back plate. Um, you need the Festool uh, adapter for Centrotec, and then this 3D printed in metal. So the best way to do this is to take this piece and you put the spring on. And remember that the shorter end should be on the, the bottom. And then you take this piece and you're going to put it around the spring and compress it until it comes through the bottom right here and you're just gonna hold it in position, compressed, till you can get the back plate lined up with the holes and get a couple screws in. Once you have two screws, it'll hold itself pretty well. Um, yeah, the first two are easier than the, or the first two are a little more annoying than the second two just because of you having to hold it at the same time. But as soon as, Two screws are in and I would recommend putting if you're gonna drill, use a drill do it on, on the lowest setting um, you don't want to strip it so either use a hand screwdriver a hand tool or have your drill on the lowest setting but also don't go full force go real slow all right so now we have this piece and you can see if you press the spring pushes back. So this part is, can, can be kind of annoying. Do it over a tray in case the bearings fall out. But if you put the ball in each hole, there's three of them. You should now be able to drop it in from the bottom. And once it passes, once it gets in far enough, Oh no, one of the balls came out, Let's see? Well, two of them are still in. So I'm gonna slide this out a little bit. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. They're all falling out. Put them back, I'm gonna try this again. You can see this is kind of the annoying part. All right. Maybe if I put a little grease or something, it would and make them stay in a little bit better. So slide it in, and one came out again. I'm gonna try to slide it out just enough to put the ball in, and hope the other two, yep, there we go. So that was kind of annoying, but you can, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the bearings are inside now. Um, and this can, fall out. So the way you hold this in is by putting the adapter on. So you just pull this back, slide it on, let go, and then now it's solid. Nothing's going to come out. Uh, you can pull this to attach it and the balls will adjust. So let's see on the drill now, all you do is put it on just like any other attachment. And then now you have Centrotec on your Milwaukee installation driver. So, yeah.
that's pretty much it.